This is our new caravan. Well, part of it. You wanna get away? You better get in line. Won't go another day of wasting any time. I've got a lot to say. Can't hold it in this time. Got no filter. I got no filter. 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 G'day, campers. Welcome back to Ten Ten Adventures. And this, this is our new caravan. Well, part of it. It's currently the uh, 14th of December. The plan was to have this van in our possession before Christmas. The race is definitely, definitely on. So, who is it? Who is our new van manufacturer? There's nothing really giving it away but we're at Nova Caravans so we have gone with Nova. Why have we gone with Nova? Well as over the next couple of videos you'll see we're going to be uh, going through the build of this and what sold us on Nova is generally the attention to detail and the the quality of the build. We looked at a number of other brands I won't name them here but uh, we did look at a number of other brands that were a mixed price range, some were slightly cheaper, some were slightly more expensive. Uh, from a build quality perspective, Nova matched the more expensive brands that we looked at, uh, and in fact, in one case, actually exceeded them uh, significantly. Uh, the, the premium that was charged on that brand, we, we just couldn't justify, uh, and actually couldn't believe the, uh, the, the workmanship on that van. I'm not gonna, again, not gonna name and shame, but it made the decision to go with Nova very, very easy. So, what have we bought? We've bought a 16.6C Terrasport. So this is a full off-road van. Uh, it is going to be able to go anywhere we want to go. Now, once we do pick this up, we're gonna do a couple of trips, depending on when we get it. A uh, couple of the people, a couple of the guys we've spoken to here at Nova do reckon that there is a chance we're gonna get this before Christmas. Uh, I'm not so sure, but you know, at the moment, there's not even a floor on it. So we'll see how we go. Uh, but to be fair to the guys at Nova, this was supposed to, this chassis was supposed to be with them, uh, I think three weeks ago. Uh, there've been some delays. I think every company in Australia at the moment has been going through delays with, um, yeah, there were some strikes on at the wharfs. Uh, so anything coming in for parts and so forth was, was held up. And I believe part of that has held us up as well. So. Look, Nova have been great. They've kept us uh, kept us informed, kept us let us know what's going on, where we're at, uh, and as I say, they're still reasonably hopeful that uh, that they're going to be able to get this to us in time. Everything is here, so everything is at the factory ready to go. Uh, it's just a matter of when they can. Uh, well, not even when. This is actually going to go into construction pretty much as soon as I finish filming. They're going to be rolling it in and starting the work on it. Uh, so it. It's just a matter of whether or not they can complete that work in time and still meet their own strict quality uh, requirements. So, obviously, we don't want them to rush because uh, we want the we want the quality to be good, and they don't want to rush either. This is going to be all over YouTube. Uh, they're obviously not going to want us uh, taking this out and going, "Wow, the wheels fell off." Some of them are built so the front doesn't fall off at all. Well, wasn't this built so the front wouldn't fall off? Well, obviously not. How do you know? Well, because the front fell off. That's not something any of us want, so we're, we're happy um, as long as we've got it before Australia Day when we do have something very big planned. Anyway, look, let's, um, well, we've got no floor on this, uh, on this uh, chassis. Let's just have a little bit of a look around uh, and see what's, see what's what. Okay, we have one of our two 95 litre fresh water tanks. So that's the first one uh, just forward of the axle. We've got a space here, this is our grey water tank. That doesn't go in uh, just yet. That goes in a little bit closer to when they've got the shower in. Then at the very back here, we've got another 95 litre fresh water tank. Now for those that know our uh, previous van, we only had, we had basically a 120 litre and an 80 litre tank. Uh, and the 80 litre would normally be grey water, but we converted that over to uh, fresh to give us 200 litres of fresh. 
We're going to be sitting at 190 litres of fresh with this van. We think that's going to be enough. Uh, we've never really gone through the full 200 in any of the trips that we've done. So, uh, yeah, look, I think we'll be all right. We have disc brakes. Now, the number one of the number one reasons that we went with Nova was that for the Terra Sports, disc brakes were standard. Now, uh, from everything, all the research I've done, uh, disc brakes versus drum brakes. Uh, drum brakes are the work of the devil and should just be phased out completely. So, I hate them, they're a pain. Uh, in fact, yeah, I know that uh, I know of a few people that have had uh, drum brakes just completely seize on them, walk on, uh, and they're just, uh, yeah, I'm not a fan. Uh, so we have got disc brakes on this van. And let me see if I can get that in there. Yeah, nice big calipers in there. So yeah, we got beautiful disc brakes in here. And we're gonna come around the other side of the van now. DO35 hitch, DO35 bog standard nowadays with, with caravans. It is absolutely the best hitch on the market. Uh, anyway, moving on. I mentioned an air compressor. We have an air compressor over here. Why do we have an air compressor? Well, the other reason that we went with Nova Caravans is uh, with the TerraSport, again, as standard, you get airbag suspension, adjustable auto leveling suspension, which means when we go to a campsite, push a button and this is going to level itself. There are a few little caveats on that around how it can be used. It's not going to do full horizon leveling, uh, so you're still going to have to adjust, manually adjust your jockey wheel to get uh, uh, your north-south straight, but east-west will auto level based off with, uh, with the suspension. And you can do some other little funky things to, with that. We'll talk about that much later on when, we're, uh, when we've actually got the van and we've been through and shown how to actually use it. So. We'll come back to that. Moving on, we have here our air tank. Uh, now this is Airbag Man. So I've had Airbag Man uh, suspension. Uh, I had airbags in the back of the Fortuna. Uh, all the things I'll say about the Fortuna, the, those airbags are one of the best things uh, that we install. So uh, really good, really glad to see we've got airbags going into this one. Uh, I'm gonna get some footage here of the suspension itself uh, because this is a bit of a pr proprietary Alco and Nova design. And the, the whole design here is really about uh, minimizing weight uh, while still giving you that flexibility and strength off-road and giving you all that, uh, that uh, great capability with the airbags. But that's about all I can say at this stage. Uh, a few other bits and pieces going onto the van. Uh, we're going to have a toolbox at the front, uh, gas bottles, barbecue, etc. I'm going to turn off the cameras now. I'll catch up with you guys on Monday. And hopefully we'll see uh, some, a floor and some walls and a few other bits and pieces already on the van. And we'll be able to uh, get it from Jono how close we're going to get to getting this before Christmas. It's, uh, as I said, 14th of December, the count is on. See you in a second. Okay, so uh, it's now Monday, uh, the 18th of December. We've been having a chat with Jono, uh, John Sills, the uh, National Sales Manager for Nova, and a few of the other guys here. Let's, we're gonna be honest, I don't think we're gonna get this fan before Christmas. They are doing their absolute utmost to try and get it to us, but look, it could go either way. Uh, as it stands, uh, it's yeah around lunchtime on the Monday, and our van currently looks, well, like this. So a few things have happened. We've got the, uh, the wheel arches on, uh, a lot of work happening. All the plumbing's done, the airbags have all been uh, set up, plumbed in. Uh, a lot of the hoses have been run. Uh, the brake system is set up, so the hydraulic brakes in here are all set up. Uh, wiring for the, uh, for the front, so all the cabling, the safety camera, everything else is all set up and run. Moving further on, uh, air compressor is here and plumbed in. So the two water tanks are in, and we're just waiting now for the grey water tank to uh, to get dropped in as well. Uh, 
talking to Joe. Uh, the best guess at this stage is that uh, by sometime, oh, by the end of today, the end of the day today, a van will be looking a little bit more like this. Now this is uh, this is obviously not our van, but uh, that's that's where they're expecting to get to by the end of the day. So it's a bit of a production line here. We'll work on we'll go through some stuff over the next couple of days. Uh, the filming. One of the things I thought I'd do quickly as well is to show you a little bit about some of the construction and materials that they use here. So uh, the floor of these caravans is super lightweight. Uh, it's made of a uh, honeycomb uh, poly floor. So Looking at the edge of the floor, it's basically just a honeycomb the whole way through. Uh, fiberglass or a fibrous material on top. So, very, very lightweight, but structurally really, really strong. So, that's the floor. Our walls, uh, the van that I showed you a moment ago that is uh, under construction, the, uh, the walls on that are not what we're getting. They're a, uh, a timber. So they're a, a aluminium and timber ply. We are not doing that. And I don't see anywhere nearby. I can show you what our walls are, but they are a fiberglass uh, ply. So there's no timber in our van exterior at all. Everything is uh, uh, a fiberglass shell. So uh, one of the things that we did notice and one of the other reasons we chose Nova when we were at one of the shows recently, we found that the temperature inside the Terra Sports was four degrees cooler than any other van at the show in full sunshine. And it was 30 something degrees outside. So that four degrees cooler inside is a, uh, that's a, that's a big difference. You could, you could absolutely feel it. You'd walk into the van uh, and even at the Nova stand itself and jumping between their different models, the Terra Sports was several degrees cooler than any of their other models. It's looking unlikely that we'll get the van before Christmas at this stage, uh, you would expect it to be a little bit further along than this to make that possible. Uh, but we're going to keep our fingers crossed. We're going to see uh, see what can be done. Uh, in the meantime, we'll we'll be in here every couple of days. Keep up the filming. We'll uh, we'll see you in a couple of minutes for the next stage. Okay, so it's Wednesday uh, around lunchtime. Uh, so it's two days before uh, Nova shut down for the year. I know we're not going to get the van in time for Christmas, but I'll tell you what, the guys are going absolutely hammer and tongs and it is looking amazing. They are um, they're knocking, it out, knocking it out of the park. I cannot believe how quickly this is coming together. I mentioned uh, in the last little snippet that we're getting a fiberglass, a fiberglass shell uh, with a polyurethane interior, uh, insulation. So I'm just going to show you guys what that looks like. So if you can see here, we've got the, uh, the two pieces of uh, fiberglass shell and inside that is this polyurethane uh, insulation I guess for want of a better word so there's no timber anywhere on the edging so ignore the ignore this bit of timber here uh, there is no timber anywhere in the exterior of this build so everything is 100% uh, Manufactured, so there's not going to be any timber to get uh, to get wet. There, that's not to say there's no timber in the build. Um, obviously, you need to use, use timber; it's lightweight and does do quite a bit. Uh, looking at the front of the van, so looking at the front of the van, you see this is the basically this is the back of the bed. The back of the bed is sitting basically right here, uh, and round through to the tunnel boot. Ignore all that timber there. That tunnel boot's straight through. Uh, this is just a frame to hold it together while I finish uh, setting everything up so nothing collapses uh, while, they're, while they're building everything. Uh, but that'll be secure as secure as anything when they're done. Got a, uh, I've already put the, uh, the VM Pro uh, sway control and uh, automatic braking on. A lot of the other fittings and fixtures ready to go. Uh, gas bottles, cabling stuff ready to go in when the uh, toolbox arrives. Obviously, we need to put the front frame on. Let's run through the windows. So you can actually see here, this is the underside of the bed. 
quite a bit, quite a bit going on on here. But uh, yeah, compared to two days ago, it's definitely, definitely looking a lot more like a real caravan. So yeah, it's an absolute hive of activity here today, and uh, which is really good to see. On uh, the guys have been absolutely busting to try and get this out. Um, and speaking to uh, Jono and the guys, they're very uh, yeah, disappointed that the uh, the supply chain issues with the uh, with the stuff for the brakes resulted in this taking longer than expected. So we're not we're not going to get it before Christmas, unfortunately. But we will definitely have this in time for what we've got planned in uh, at the end of January. So. We'll keep filming this uh, over the next couple of days. I'm going to be in here every every sort of two days, just checking in on the progress. Uh, huge thank you to, to Jono and Nova and the team just for giving me this unfettered access to their factory to to film and and see what's going on uh, and and keep you guys in, in the picture as to what what a caravan build looks like and how quickly this comes together. As a matter of fact, if I turn the camera down this way, this line of caravans. All the way down there was where we were sitting a couple of days ago. We're now all the way down the far end of the line at the very end of the factory. When we're finished here, we then start rolling forward, back goes on, and we move further down the line. So it is really moving, uh, moving through. Uh, basically at the moment, it's just putting all those interiors in. Uh, as a matter of fact, I can even show you some more of the stuff that's going on here. Uh, this frame here is our fridge and microwave. Uh, overhead cupboards, the raft of this stuff all going into the, uh, now not all of this is ours obviously, this is all for other vans that are down the line. Uh, this shell here, this fiberglass tub, this is our, uh, this is my shower. So uh, that's getting ready to go in as well. So everything's, everything's coming together really, really quickly. Uh, just, yeah. I cannot believe how well this is coming together and how quickly. I'm really, really thrilled with the uh, the work these guys are doing. All right, guys, so I'm going to uh, finish that up there. I'm going to go and have a quick chat to Jono and see about some, some other stuff. I'm going to do some filming with him uh, sometime in the next uh, couple of days as well. I might make that a separate video in and of itself just to uh, just so you guys can get a look at the, the inner workings of uh, one of the most awarded caravan builders in Victoria. So uh, we'll talk about that in another session. Uh, keep watching. Uh, we'll be back in another couple of days. Uh, for you, that's going to be like that. Keep watching, guys. We'll be back soon. We're back. It's uh, now fr the Friday before Christmas, so the 22nd of December. And this van behind me, that's our van. It's not ready, but... Wow, have they made some progress. So, looking inside, a few secret bits and pieces going on in there. We've got our hot water system going in. We'll talk about that in a future video. I hope you guys can hear me over the noise. It is very, very, very loud here. A lot going on. They're cleaning up as much as they can before they close down for the year. Uh, but it is really good to see just how much how much progress this band is taking. I was talking to uh, John Sills the other day and he was, uh, we, were, we were actually commenting, so many people don't realise just how quickly a van goes from being a chassis to a completed, completed unit. It's about 10 working days. Uh, for some of the Nova vans, it's about seven for the top of the line Terra Sports that we're getting. It's, it's a 10 day build, which is why uh, with the, the shipping delays, we're just not going to be ready in time for uh, for Christmas, unfortunately. But wow, this has taken some real shape. Stove, fridge, microwave, overhead cabins. This is just looking great. That's pretty much it for now. Uh, I'm gonna end this episode here. We're gonna finish up for Christmas, finish up for 2023. We're gonna be back here in January, I think the 16th is when they're gonna start reopening up and, and redoing more vans. 
So hopefully at that point we'll get more opportunity to come in and film. Uh, and again, a huge thank, to, thank you to Jono and all the guys here at Nova who have been so accommodating, letting me in here in the middle of the factory. Uh, it, they've given me really great access every day to come in and film, get photos, everything else. Uh, so look, cannot, uh, cannot compliment the guys at Nova highly enough. They're doing, they've done everything they can to get, uh, get things moving for us. We're not quite at uh, not quite at the finished product yet, but uh, gee, we're close. And uh, yeah, some exciting stuff to come in the coming weeks. We'll see you in the new year. Cheers.